Hey guys, welcome back to Ma Mo Moons of Madness. So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. Genesis 3.23 Okay, that's just gotten Christianity for some reason. The clock is stuck on 423. <laughs> New Eden. Orochi is planning on building a city here. A failsafe. There is no escape. The dream will consume them. They are inevitable. Okay. The CEO of Orochi was here. It makes no sense. On Earth. It's probably a four letter word. I should look around for some clues. Eden. Eden. An emergency yeah. failsafe if Project Eclipse is released. If I can that is quarantine. Shield, I can get out of this room. That is quarantine. Blast doors active. Magnetic stasis field online. Last update 7-13-2063. The fragment has become alligated. The workers are unable to resist its communications. They scratch the walls, run through the complex, reduced to a wild, anim animalistic frenzy. I was able to close the chamber and exact the highest protocols, but I can hear the echoes ringing in my ears. I see the crew of the Serrano. Serrano? Serrano? I've never seen them before, but I know who they are with all my being, and they are and they stare through the cracked helmets, the filth, reaching out towards me. I can't stay here. Eclipse has been shuttered. I've activated the proper protocols. Be sure the doors automatically unlock in the event that the subject or protocol Eclipse is released. broken the rush is upon you you don't get to be the same person after they get in the numbing agent used to be the project eclipse to keep the fragment under control is created from the strange metal powering the machine in this alien ruin since the active mechanism the sedation is poorly understood we have likened or we have taken uh, the precaution of stockpiling a large amount of metal on board the Evictus. In the event an emergency, the Evictus can be launched. A self-guiding rocket has been attached to the payload. It can be triggered by with the code phrase, once the Invictus safely clears the atmosphere, communication specialist Delapore was tasked with loading the payload and setting up the detonation trigger. Due to the sensitivity of the operation and this location at... The offsite communication dish he is considered the operative with the most chance of success in any case of a catastrophic event. He alone knows the trigger word and will use it to his discretion. Father, the Siriano has cr the Siriano has crashed. Something happened. An EMP could not analyze it in time. The filth has reacted violently and unpredictably spreading like a cancer across this entire base the dreamer fragment has sent the workers into a panic searching for a way to escape the security system has been triggered the entire base has been compromised i've shut down the project eclipse an emergency kill signal has been sent and shut down communications via anglius we will leave no trace semper service troll Ooh. Did I fuck that up by turning that radio station back on? Uh, this is all just numbers. <laughs> Father, as you know, we owe a great debt to the work of Dr. Cynthia Newart. This site was chosen based on her later work. Notes and research kept under the strictest clearance. <clears throat> While her exhaustive library of... Equations and scrawled symbol symbology has been daunting. The analysis still continues to see three s 
to see results. Most certainly in the acquisition of the two recent items, you are already aware of the fragment of the Dreamer, which we recovered. Research continues into the significance of this fragment, and now it tries to communicate. Using the magnetic energy signatures first recorded in the Amundison's expedition, the Antarctic, we are able to triangulate the location within the kilometers through the excavation site 9. The team has excited to announce that we have uncovered an actual Gaia engine on Mars. Further exploration in the chamber containing the engine has been halted and we defer to your judgment. We await your determination, Semper Service Control. All right, authorized message. Intercepted unauthorized video transmission. Pounding muffled talking. This is Trevor Graham, commander of the Cyrano. I, an EMP, fired from the system, and we are currently hurling towards Mars at approximately filth. 50 meters per second. Fuck protocol. Fuck Orochi. It wasn't ours. It wasn't hours after they sent us to the coordinates, and I could see it was in everyone's eyes. Dr. Bodery drew the short straw. <clears throat> uh, where was I? Drew the short straw when the heat shield controls malfunction. We're not equipped for a mission like this. Command knew it. It's a fucking support crew, but we're follow procedure after him. 20 minutes he stopped responding to the comms we tried to reel him in but his face when he turned his entire mask was covered in blackness just a spider webbing of black oil across the entire lining of the mask thing leaking and leaking out into the void it cracked straight through the fucking helmet Constanza grabbed his arm and that shit is it crawled up her suit it crawled up her suit, wrapped around, squeezing inside, pounding increase in volume. That pounding, the fucking airlock. I couldn't let them back in. The infection was just being, it was just near, it made the temples seethe. They're all infected. Doesn't matter though, the fucking hatch won't close. Anytime now, we're gonna bust apart and rain down into the pieces in the Martian desert. Pierce and Vogel are lucky. They're still asleep in their pods. Won't feel a thing. I'm talking it, it down with me. All this is is the Cyrano. It's about to enter the Martian atmosphere on a secret mission to help shake, help shake the claim. They don't care about the lives they lose to do it. You hear me, Orochi? The whole world is gonna see this thing. The whole fucking world will know. End transmission. Oh. I'm getting out of here. I wonder if those consoles have anything to do with Project Eclipse. So they were willing to sacrifice the entire crew. Lighting, ground, numbering, all equal 100. Use last. Uh, this goes to four. It has to be, it has to be this, right? Like these gotta be wrong. Gotta be this, this, and this.
Okay. That's it, right? Okay. I'm out on this console. Meeting at 512? That's oddly specific. Yes, Eden. Yeah, I did that. I'm talking about it's not very clear. I did this. I got this all lined out, right? Yeah, 20, 100, 100. Communication with the dreamer requires a sensory deprived environment even for you. Use these settings 20, 100, 100. Okay. So am I supposed to... Am I supposed to do something down here? No? Can I change the clock? did it though. I read all this shit too. I did gain access. What the fuck are you talking about? Activate Project Eclipse. Find a way out. Didn't I? They're... Oh, there we go. What the fuck? Is that like a heart? What the hell is that thing? Activate Project Eclipse. another button <laughs> did this already what the hell's going on the door teleport oh my god man Is 
this? Oh, okay. Now I play with this. Um. That didn't work. There's gotta be a hint somewhere for the right setting on these dials. Wait, it was something 12, right? Or 4, 2, 3? Either 5, 1, 2, or 2, 4, 3. What the hell? Our family therapist's office. I can Knowledge consumed? Her sofa in the corner. My parents took me here when I started having night terrors. I understand that some might consider... Engineering dimensions? Excessive. Yes. We may not agree on the finer points, but I can't let it go on any longer. Not like this. My father. He always used to say... Cynthia, your brain has its own mouth, and all it does is devour books. I was... Doesn't every sensational. brain have its own mouth? I learned to see data yeah. from New patient, Shane Newhart, seven years old. I never thought it would Mother me. Cynthia, reporting night Stray terrors with complex eyes. hallucinations. He claims to remember son. every detail. Mother encouraged him to describe the terror, and so he did. It is made of vines, tendrils, teeth. He emphasized the teeth of the Never human saw. hands and face. The vines emerge from very sounds. every shadow and fill the room, twining upon themselves, eventually crushing him into the bed. All the space that remains is a small, dark tunnel through which the creature stares at him from across the room, and he can see it through his eyelids, and his face inches closer minute by minute. But his mom always wakes him up before the teeth. Oh. Uh, for the teeth, uh, S became, Shane became an extremely distraught, and the rest of the session was spent consoling him for any chance to develop a rapport with him. I need to see them separately for several sessions. Call C to set up the time next time, next week to discuss home life, school performance, her concerns, and etc. Week three. Shane's GP ruled out psychological ca causes for night tears. Must be related to the anxiety. A lot of tension in the... Uh, sorry, I thought I heard something in my room. <laughs> um, the New Art House's uh, S may be g genetically predisposed. Predisposed? God damn. Today he showed me the hand... The Handheld chess game he plays during uh, recess. Smart kid, but needs help with his confidence. Meanwhile, Cynthia remains a uh, remains a challenge. She answered my questions about S, but was reluctant to talk about himself. Herself insisted I wouldn't understand as I encouraged her to give me a chance. She succumbed to a disassociative episode, which we talked about at length. Once it passed, she called it seeing through the eyes of elsewhere we will have to revisit this next week i'm can i've convinced her to see me as a patient as well so is, am i not real like am i one of those clone things like the people on the ship and stuff or like those creatures but also like i was created through some form of like weird pact for my mother uh, can anyone tell me how to access the space between dreams uh excuse me no, no one could tell you how to do that, because... What? 
question. Excellent How does one access the space between However, dreams? Answer, the doors of light. The fabled roads of Ar Agartha are said to be able to take one through space and time. This is interesting. Oh my god, dude, I have like that exact same fucking flash drive. That's crazy. Uh, what do we got here? Just a bunch of fucking stuff, I don't understand. How does one access the space between dreams? Is this some sort of like, many worlds, like string theory? Or, this like, curvy one here is like, bending reality so you can make a straight line through it? Oh. Huh. Interesting. I wish there was somebody to explain more of that to me. Okay. The doors of light. Oh. Again? That's uh, very cutting edge, Adam. The doors of the universe. That is quite complex. Wormholes. That is still okay, huh? Wormholes and event horizons offer the possibility to go to impossible places. Okay. So I was right, wormholes, bending space and time. Like folding paper. I've seen that conversation before. Am I out of here now or Nope, oh, more paper? Wrong. The gates of heaven. God holds the keys to the doors of the entire universe. And by his grace are we allowed to enter. This Is this like a Christian thing or something? They mentioned uh Oh, here's another piece of paper. Very good. Jesus Christ, I can't the answer see. Is the, dreaming ones. the dreaming ones. Where the dreaming ones are and the dreaming ones shall be. Not in the spaces we know, but between. Interesting. The dreaming ones were, the dreaming ones are, the dreaming ones shall be. Not in the spaces we know, but between. They walk serene and primal. Undimensioned and to us unseen. They can teach us deep knowledge. Secrets past the skin of eternity. Thank you. Whoa. Oh. Gross. Somebody had a fun time in here. Yesterday, I saw a light streaming through the two windows. Wandering in time. Illuminated, suspended in the air. Spent the remainder of the day in my office researching. How can the human mind access the moment? Myself. I, the moment between I moments. Really the space am. between Always spaces. Been. If we Isolated. drop the other Isolated to recognize ourselves. Ah, oh, man, I really wish I could read that more. The too universe. blurry. Words that no one else could ever know. Uh oh. Another week. Week 14. Patient functioning it's continues to. Fluctuate. She is managing to find. Oh, it's no longer on me anymore. She's managing to find relief from auditory hallucinations by isolating herself in the basement. Symptoms warned. Waned enough to attend sessions today. Washed her hair in basement utility sink. Apparently manages to take care of Shane during disassociative periods. Uh, C. Twice trailed off almost a nonsensical babble claims to have had a lot of her mind with the upcoming uh, publication of the latest book and is not concerned. Not my first patient with such challenges, but some reason I feel out of my depth here. Thinking about referring her to someone else increased dosage in the meantime. Shane is apparently doing well with support from his school's counselors. I'm sure he's glad to have his Thursday afternoons back. Okay. So they realized the mom was the crazy one and she was affecting her son. Oh my. 
I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. This book. Open. Oh. Once you open the book, it's already too late. It's always too late. This is, this is getting crazy. It's been weeks since I transferred Cynthia's care to a more experienced clinician. I can't stop thinking about our final session, even though my notes are sparse and the details hazy. Ever since there has been a gnawing at the back of my consciousness, a deep anxiety I can't shake. I find myself jolting awake after mere minutes of falling asleep entirely. I know something is watching. I see it flickering in the pre in the periphery it slithers in the split between seconds it thinks it doesn't see it thinks I don't see but if I take the dreams for myself it will tell him I will have to suspend my practice until I figure out what is hap what he what it wants oh well, it's so this must be like Cthulhu right like madness spreading like a disease nope Nope, I'm running. Right, because isn't that like what the whole the whole principle of what like Cthulhu is, right? It's like the madness, it's it spreads like a disease. And like now because she was questioning it and she pushed her away, like now all of a sudden it's like clung to her too. And now like the thought of that one person's madness is driving her to madness. Cause she can't explain or understand. Also, is the witch doings? on Mars my mom? Oh. They cannot awaken. The moon's I forgot madness. about you. It is all but a brilliant equation. Please, I need you to help me. I thought I am. I was. I will. God damn it, who are you? It's your mother, dude. What's left of her in your mind, I guess. Shane. I'm your I'm mother. Sorry, Shane. Whoa, your mom's I hot, bro. So many mistakes. You were never supposed to be here. Just scrawling all over her. Why are you? How did you get here? My curiosity led me here. The pages of the Necronomicon reveal. It is the Necronomicon. This is Cthulhu. I encountered, and a pathway to the dream world. I didn't know that once I made the choice, I could never return. This is Lovecraftian. The decision has weighed That's on cool. me ever since. Wait on you? I'm not super huge on Lovecraft, though. Any idea what that did to us? I know a lot of people like it. To Dad? That's cool. When you left, it broke him. We searched for you for years. Shane, please, listen. Has it been you this whole time? In the base, haunting the crew? Driving us crazy with these nightmares? Stop! The struggle tears at my soul. It takes every ounce of concentration I have to remain here. I need your help, son. We must act quickly. When the ship passed between the moons, the twin dreamers were disturbed in their slumber. All the chaos you witnessed, the filth, that creeping horror is only a fraction of the destruction that it can bring. If they corrupt the engine, the moons of Mars, the dreaming ones will awaken, and they will devour all of reality. The moons of Mars are the dreaming ones? You left us for a delusion. What Doesn't the Mars do have like about reality? Oh no, never mind, I'm thinking of a different planet. Reality is where my son lives. Aww. What do I need to do? Find the Gaia engine. I will help you do what must be done. I mean, this is reality Shane, anyway, if it's happening. Help me undo what has been set in motion. I will, Mama. Please I will do it, Mama. Me. Don't worry. We'll solve this. Together. Are you setting me up? Can you send me back to, uh, my own world now? Oh, that's awesome. Just a fucking elevator out of nowhere. That's cool. This looks more like the moon now than anything else.
Okay. I was just curious. Man, this is a cool game. Uh, uh, what? The top, I guess? Two thirds. Is that a far I am through the game? I don't understand what. Two thirds. So I have a third of the game left to go? Wow. Pilot the meerkat. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> shit! You got me, fucker. I was not even thinking about. It. I forgot. Shane, Shane? Declan. Sorry. I, I uh, I don't know what happened. There's so much more down there, Declan. Clones, mind control, the dreamers, the dreaming ones, Declan. We have to find the Gaia engine. It's the only thing holding them back. Everything. The, the filth, the, the nightmares, my, my hallucinations. They're connected. We need to find the engine. Okay, okay, okay. Shane, slow down. We're inside. You need to get here as soon as possible. Hell if I'm staying here. We have to find it. Okay, okay. We'll find this machine. Because as much as I don't have any idea what you're talking about, it makes more fucking sense than anything else has happened today. Interesting. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this one here. Uh, I guess there's still a third of the goddamn game to go. Um, but uh, as always, have a good one. I'll catch you. Happy Halloween, and I will catch you guys in the next one.